Jesus Christ, it's so cold. Uh, good morning, guys. It's about four in the morning and it's freezing cold. I got everything. Okay, that's warranty, warranty. That should be it. Also, guys, I lost my damn DeWalt flashlight. I looked everywhere in here already. It's not here. So I don't know if I left it at a fucking roof. I don't know. So the only thing that I got left with is the spare battery. All right, let's check that ice machine. All right, guys, I'm in the roof. So basically what happens, it's a drive-through, so I can't really film on the inside. Uh, my water wasn't cold enough. I can just, whenever you've been doing ice machines for a while, you can just tell how cold the water should be by just by putting your finger in there. Uh, so I came up here, my condenser motor wasn't running. My compressor was, but my, not my condenser, so it can be a couple things. Hooked up the gauges. I'm gonna go ahead and let it run right now. Uh, I have to make sure the condenser is getting voltage to it. I'm going to take amperage, check the refrigerant. Usually with ice machines, you want to take the uh, pressures within the five minutes of it. So we're going to see right now. So let me just get my meter. So for some reason, I'm getting zero amps. Pressures are going off the roof. Condenser's still not running. So right now, I shut off on high head. So I have to look at that uh, fan cycle. And then go from there. So I know it's gonna be one of these two. This one or that one right there. Or that one on the back side. So let me look at the schematic and see which one's the fan cycle. And go from there. Okay, so found the fan cycle. On L2 going to contact her motor right here fan side control and the color is black and black so black and black so this one's black and black what color is this one right here um this one over here it's purple and purple black and black blue and blue so gonna be this one so I'm gonna go ahead and bypass it and uh, see what happens also guys before I even condemn anything I'm gonna go ahead and call factory because these units are pretty new they're probably like about like about a year year old so I'm gonna call factory confirm it with everything and uh, go from there uh, all right guys bypassed it so now i'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs reset it and see what happens all right guys fan is running 
Pressure's running. Pressures are looking a little bit better. Um, the thing about bypassing those is that, I mean, if it gets pretty cold out here, they're gonna shut off most likely on low pressure switch. Don't quote me on that. That's why I'm waiting on tech support to let me know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, well, right now I'm actually waiting on tech support to answer my call. So, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and see what they want me to do. And if I got order parts, we'll come back and install them. All right, guys, so I was on the phone for 42 minutes. I don't know if you guys can tell. 42 minutes with uh, Metatalk and they just wouldn't answer the phone. So for some reason, the phone just hanged up. Uh, I'm not gonna call them back because I mean, I don't wanna waste another hour just waiting for them. So I'm gonna leave this unit off because I don't like to leave anything bypassed. Uh, so it's making nice every 10 minutes. And that's pretty good for these type of ice machines. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it off because they got three more ice machines they're able to get ice from. So it's not like a super, super, um, what is it? A super emergency type deal. So like I said, it's running. Prices look a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just shut it off. Let the manager know. And then also shut it out from the bottom side and just let the manager know that we'll come back with the part and uh, install it. Also, I've been wanting to ask you guys, I heard some techs, what they do, they just pinch it with the, with the tool that we use for R290, the pinch tool. And they just cut it off, put the new one in, solder it, and then open it. Uh, I heard people been doing that let me know if you guys have done that before. That way I don't have to recover the whole charge. You guys already know it. Got the Subway, Spicy Italian. Damn, damn. I guess one of the units is leaking water to the dining area. So most likely it's gonna be clogged up, I'm pretty sure. That or it's gonna be iced up. Or hopefully belts broken, one of those three. Uh, but yeah, I'm on my way right now. Should be there pretty quick. Uh, and then after that, I should be able to go home, so. Originally, I wasn't gonna do that service call, but I guess it just came up like five minutes ago, so. Since I finished the since I finished the other job pretty quick, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to this one and uh, see what we find. There's a big old pot of water. I'm about to show you guys the units and exactly how they were when I got here. So, get ready. That's unit number one. I believe this one's discontinued. Everything's open. Number two, power's off. But look at the contactor. Floor assembly's open. So, that's dry. Number three, Originally, this thing was open like this. So let me just show you guys. 
no covers, nothing. I don't see no water on this one. I tried looking for that little cover for that and it's not there. And now the third unit, it's on. Condensers are on. Compressors are on. I start taking these panels off. I mean, look at this. It's it's completely, it's done. It's completely rusted. I hope you guys are ready for what I'm about to show you guys. It's fucking crazy. Look. Hold on, let me get my light. No drain pan. The drain pan is completely, completely broken. So everything's super soaked. And I'm thinking it's dripping down. Jesus Christ, just look at all this. These things need to be replaced. All that. All right guys, so I just called my manager, FaceTime them, showed them everything, what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna get information of every single unit here, the curb adapter, everything. Uh, so they can get a quote to replace all the units because I mean this is this is just bad um, on this type of units you see how everything's all the wiring everything's all corroded everything when they, it's things like this happen guys I highly recommend you guys just leave it alone don't try to mess with it nothing because you're gonna end up messing up something worse so what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the uh, Y1 and Y2 and just have the fan running of this one this one's already off that one's already off this one's on but i don't think this one needs to be replaced this thing it i mean it's in bad shape but it's still it's still there so definitely gonna take pictures of that this this measurements everything so i mean just just i mean i have never seen a unit this bad in shape ever That's fucking crazy. So I got the measurements that I needed. Measure this one, the curve, that one, and that one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put all the panels back in. Uh, take the Y1 and Y2 off of that one and get out of here. I mean, if you guys notice, this motor doesn't look that bad in shape. Oh yeah, I see stuff. Barely wasn't to move. Huh. I guys took some wiring in the off out of that board my blower's running both of my fans compressors are off so this should be good we're out here in the bay area so it's not like it's gonna be 100 degrees out here But yeah, like guys, like I said, when they're this old, you're better off just don't even mess with them. Because then you do something, you put on the notes, then somehow they're gonna blame you for it. So never mess with units that are this old. As you guys can tell, I mean, I mean, personally, I have never seen a unit this bad in shape ever, unless it was an abandoned or something. Well, but yeah. Let's see what's out here. Hey. All right, guys, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and put in a quote for everything here. My manager will. 
uh, get the information. I couldn't get model number, serial number because everything's completely gone. So I just took pictures of it, the brand, measured it, and that's basically it. So, hope you guys enjoy the vlog. It's about, what time is it? 3.30, so most likely I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be catching traffic. But that's how this trade is, guys. I mean, I was already going home. Uh, my manager called me like, hey, you think you can do my favor and stop by? So things like that happen, super common, you know? I don't mind it, so. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Peace.